In this video, I'm going to show you a must-have app if you have SmartThings, that, which will allow you to complete very complex automations very easily. Coming up next. Hi, I'm Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. In this video, we're going to show you an app that will take your smart things to the next level. And let's go ahead and download this app. Currently, it's only available on iOS. And it's called Smart Rules. So here is the app. And what it does is basically makes crazy complex automations and rules very easy in smart things so let's go ahead and get this app okay and it looks like our app is completed downloading so we're going to go ahead and click open and as soon as you open the app it's going to ask you to connect it to smart things because it needs to be able to connect to your smart things to load in all of the rules and get all of your devices so you're just going to click on the gear icon and what it's going to do is ask you to log in with your Samsung account or your SmartThings account. By now you should have a Samsung account and when you sign in you must sign in under the primary user of the SmartThings account. So say if you are the one that set up your hub and you set up your account and you have access to all of your devices and then you invited family members the family members don't have anything under their SmartThings or Samsung account. All of your devices and everything are only under the one account. They're only getting access. So you have to log in with your primary account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, and after you log in, it's going to ask you to authorize access to your SmartThings devices. So what you're going to do is click on this drop down and you're going to select the location in which your devices are located. Typically that's going to be your home location. So we're going to hit done there. And then it's going to ask you what do you want to um, bring in. So these will be all of your devices and you just want to check off the ones that you want. And we don't want to bring any of those. So let's just make sure we have everything that we need. Let's add the bonus light, the office lamp, bonus light here. And then all you do is go to the bottom and click authorize. And it says success to access your smart rules tap here. So all we have to do is tap there. Okay, and then it pops right in. So I already have this installed on my phone. Um, so these are all the rules that I have set up so far. And if we go back to the settings cog in the upper left corner, you can sync your data, you can export your rules, and you can also view and restore purchases. So if we go here, um, if you want to purchase this, to get unlimited rules and all basic features, it's just $9.99, and that's a one-time fee. You'll never have to pay anything ever again. That is what I recommend doing, but if you want to just test it out and see what it does, I think it allows you to do, I'm not sure, one or two, maybe three different um, automations that will let you know, you know, do I want this? Will this work for me? Will it do what I want it to do? But let me show you one of these. So I have open garage door or open garage Justin's work. So let's click on that. And basically this is what happens. So you see how complicated this is. This would be very hard to do in the smart things app. So if this happens, the time is 7 30 AM. Well, all of these things are true. Well, I am not in bed. Well, it's Monday through Friday and when home is active. So all of this, as long as it's at 730, if all of these things are true, 
it will send a push notification to all of our phones letting us know that the garage door is opening and it will turn on the garage door light and that's how you do it and at the bottom you can see that this is enabled if I click on enable now it is disabled and if I wanted to delete the rule I would just click delete so let's keep that enabled because I like the door to open automatically for me when I leave for work and let's go ahead and hit save okay so let's show you another um, one that I've already set up so if we go to welcome home Justin click on that you can see that when my iPhone arrives then um, there are no really conditions for this one um, as long as I'm arriving it's going to send a push notification letting us know that I am arriving um, it's going to activate the home mode it's going to turn off the alarm and it's going to open the garage door so that way when I come home um, the garage door is already open for me and I don't have to listen to the garage door or wait for it to open so that is another cool one there um, we have the sleep IQ um, so we have a sleep number bed and it knows when you're in bed so this sleep IQ good night routine here or rule um, is basically when I arrive and I stay in bed for five minutes as long as it's after sunset and home is active it will run our good night routine and send us a message of good night so that is another great automation where all I have to do is lay in bed it'll lock all the doors turn off all the lights set the alarm and everyone can sleep better at night so now let's go ahead and set up our own uh, routine just to show you how it works now obviously everyone's going to want to have different things going on let's just do an example so I'm going to say um, kitchen lights am and you can choose an icon so let's just choose an icon here so basically what I want to have happen is when I go into my closet in the morning to change um, to get ready to walk the dogs I want my kitchen lights to turn on so when I go out um, to the kitchen the lights are on for me automatically so if this happens these will be all of your devices that you imported during the import and if you add any new devices um, I'll show you how to update that as well um, but you can see it's in categories so the first one is acceleration sensor then we have batteries we have buttons contact sensors dimmers doors humidity sensor illuminance sensor locks different modes motion sensors present sensors switches uh, temperature sensors time and date is very important and quick tap will make a shortcut so if you wanted it to be I'll show you you wanted it to be over here you could have the smart rules quick tap be right on on this menu of the iPhone let's go back okay so basically when I get up in the morning so I'm gonna say when I go into the master closet actually that's a dimmer so let's find switches So switches and we go into the master closet the master closet turns on and stays that way for a certain number of minutes or I'm just going to leave it in an instant trigger so I'm just going to click done okay so we have when my master closet turns on now 
we only want the kitchen lights to turn on in the morning when I'm getting ready to go walk the dogs. So when the master closet turns on, we want to turn on the kitchen lights. But we have to put some conditions in here so it doesn't happen all of the time. So we're going to put some conditions in here. So we're going to say the time has got to be 7.30. And you can have it's before, it is, or it's after. So I'm going to say this can only happen exactly at 7.30. And let's find our presence sensors. So this is if I'm in bed or not. So if I am not present, Okay, so if my master closet light turns on, the time is 7.30 p.m. Whoops, let's change this one. 7.30 a.m. So if you need to change it, just tap on it, and then you can change it to before or after. Let's actually change this to after, too. So when it's after 7.30 a.m., um, anytime after 7.30 a.m., I am not in bed. And you can also say, well, all of these things are true. Any of these things are true. So you can change that just by tapping on that all or any. So we want all of these things to be true. Um, and let's put the... And the night is active. So that would be the night is active. So that way, if we're home during the day, um, that will not do anything. You know, you don't want to have it every time someone goes into the closet, you don't want the kitchen lights to turn on. That would get annoying fast. All right. Um, so basically, the last thing is once you have all of your um, conditions and what you want to happen, then you're going to do this. And we're going to find... Let's see. It would be under switches, and we're going to go to find the kitchen, and we're going to go ahead and turn that on. And we can also put in a delay here. So I'm going to delay that by one minute because when I'm in my closet, I have to change my clothes and then walk out to the kitchen. So by that time it should be ready for me and then all you do have to do is hit save and now you can see it's down in our list so now if you wanted to add anything you can see you can add a million things under each section so you could have you know eight different things and then 15 different conditions and have it do eight different things you know is the possibilities are endless and since you have um, not only do you have all of your devices here but you also have specific times um, which is very handy and um, I just added one of those so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and all you do is slide to the left and click delete and then that is deleted so the other stuff that you have here is sunrise and sunset and day of the week so you can say it's before or it is or it's after sunrise and sunset and then the day of the week um, what you would do is you would just check off the days that you wanted it to happen so let's actually add that to our conditions there because I only work Monday through Friday, so I don't need it to happen Saturday or Sunday because my schedule is a little bit more un unpredictable. But with this, um, with all these other things here, um, it probably wouldn't happen anyways because the conditions would not be all true at the same time. So if we just hit save, and now you see it is right down here in our list. And you can always go in here and enable it, disable it, or delete the rule. So we're going to just keep that for now. And you can see you can just add all this stuff 
you know, anything that you want to happen. It's just so much easier than using the Smart Things app. You have so much more flexibility and it's just way more powerful. So once you're done, to get everything, you know, synced up, just make sure you come over here and hit the sync button. And that's going to be sure that all of your rules are updated in Smart Things. Now let's go over to Smart Things real quick. So if you go to Smart Things, and you know normally it's going to come up to your dashboard. Um, most of the time you're going to be in your My Home section. Um, that's where you control your devices. Um, but under the Automation tab, typically it's going to be on the Routines. Just use the click on the Smart Apps and the Smart Rules. Basically anything that you connect to your Smart Things hub using that login process it's going to put those devices here in the smart app so you, you know i have amazon alexa i have arlo i have google home i have iftt and some of the other smart apps um, actually run inside of smart things but if you tap on the smart rules this is going to be basically where you're going to say, okay, um, do I want to add anything into this section? So if you add a new device to your Samsung SmartThings hub, you want to come back because it's not going to be instantaneously available in Smart Rules until you come over here. And it's going to tell you if you don't have anything any compatible device. So right here it says which CO2 detectors and then underneath it says there are no devices of this capability. So it won't let you do anything there. Um, but you just tap in each section and just make sure that you have the items checked off that you want. Uh, let's see where was the one? Power meters. So so you can see which power meters do you want tap to set. That means I don't have any selected because there's nothing in blue. So let's go ahead and just check a couple of these and hit done. And then now you can see that these are selected and then they will be able to be used in the Smart Rules app. So if you ever add any devices, you can see how many switches we have. It's just crazy. Tons and tons of switches here. Um, and then the dimmers and basically the dimmers and the switches they act differently um, and you'll see the different options in the smart rules app when you choose them so if you just want to turn something on you're going to want to choose a switch if you want to change the dim or the brightness you're going to want to choose the dimmer so you get the proper options but that is pretty much it. So like I said, I mean, this is, um, right now it's $9.99. They are working on a Android app that does the same thing. But I mean, you can make some, you know, really complicated um, and simple even too. You can make it as simple or as complicated as you want, and you can always just come in here and add things, delete things, try different things until you get it working exactly the way you want it to work. So um, if you have any questions, I guess just let me know. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Once you get it connected to your SmartThings um, account and all of your devices come in, you can just start experimenting. If you have um, trouble um, with it not responding or not executing the commands correctly, just make sure that you come over, click the sync button, and you can even, um, if that still doesn't work, you may just have to log out and log back in. Um, so I have it, have it purchased on this phone, so you can see that my basic um, option is checked off there. And I've never had to pay anything more than that initial cost, which is great. So if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Otherwise, um, download the app as soon as possible, start using it, and you'll be glad that you did because you can do so much that you can't do with smart things um, right in this app.
and it's just so much easier and way more user friendly. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.